This is Raptor News. I want you to listen to God very closely and I want you to use common sense and logic right now. This is very urgent, extremely important what I'm saying to you here and now. Heed the warner. Malachi 4.1 For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Food will no longer grow. Pay attention. Revelation 6.15 And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chiefs captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in dens and in rocks of the mountains hid themselves in dens. They spent $500,000 a half a million dollars to hide themselves from what's coming. In the comments, a whole lot of people is envious. I wrote, one major earthquake will entomb those fuckers. Right? One major earthquake, they done, sand coffined. Let's keep going. Now what we have, what? United Nations climate change. They had this on Halloween, the same as they were at the Vatican on Halloween. All of them is plotting and planning against you. Listen closely to their double talk. They are talking in code. It made clear that the lights are flashing red on the climate dashboard. The lights are flashing red on the climate dashboard. The day that is going to burn them as an oven. Coming from what? The lights are flashing red on the climate dashboard. Please heed the warner. Climate change. Yesterday. Devil's day. Now is the day. Now is the hour. Prepare right now. It's going down. Colleagues, dear friends, we stand at the pivotal point in history. Humanity faces stark but clear choices. Survive or die, I'm translating. We either choose to achieve rapid and large-scale reductions of emissions. Inject as many people as you possibly can for you, for you know what, all those coffins that they got ready for you. To keep the goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees. Because we don't have enough food and water for everyone. Or we accept that humanity faces a bleak future on this planet. Or let's keep going on pretending like nothing is wrong until we all die. We either choose to boost adaptation efforts to deal with current extreme weather disasters and build resilience to address future impacts, or we accept that more people will die, more families will suffer, and more economic harm will follow. We either choose to recognize that business as usual we keep going on with our daily lives is not worth the devastating price we're paying and make the necessary transition to more to a more sustainable future screw the population and save ourselves or we accept that we are investing in our own extinction it's about much more than environment it's about peace stability and the institutions we have built to promote the well-being of all. It is for these reasons and more 
that we must make progress here in Glasgow. We must make it a success, as President Sharma has just said. Success at COP here at this COP is entirely possible. Success is possible because we have the platform for action. And we know what that is. So we have what I showed you before in the past, Carlos Munoz Ferrada in 1939 discovered Planet Hill, the global warming, the heating source, the thing that is going to burn like an oven, right? And we're going to watch what he's saying here. When the planet is coming in, it's going to be seismic activity and it's going to be triangulated into three locations. One is northern Mediterranean coast, which is what? Italy. And that's what's going down right now, huh? With that La Palma. El norte de la costa. Between France. Let's just see where it is. Between France, Spain, and Italy. That is what he's talking about. So it's going to be volcanic and seismic activity. Then you have this, Valparaiso, or Paraiso, and Aracupa. I can't pronounce that. But that is Peru and Chile. Here, Peru and Chile. And the next one we know is going to be Indonesia. So we already know it hit Chile. And Chile had a tremendously huge earthquake. Had a couple of them. We already know it's been that the volcanic activities and earthquakes been hitting Malaysia and Indonesia especially. And now it has hit Italy and so the triangle is complete meaning that the planet is close and everybody hold on for dear life right now they are preparing folks they are preparing you have to be smart now <laughs> Java, Sumatra, and Borneo is Indonesia. These spots will go through earthquakes and volcanic activity. So it's going to cause transformation of this earth. The large gravitational field that will bring this new star, and that is the comet planet, listen closely It will cause a big change, and that change is climate change. It is going to heat up like an oven. Please pay attention to the warner. Ese gran cambio, el cual usted viene estudiando de mi, desde 1940, verdad? Que viene estudiando ese astro. Van 59. So he wants to know, is it going to be a pole shift? And he ain't talking about that. He talking about the planet heating up like an oven and it will be no more food left for the people on Earth. Años de documentación. Eh, ese gran cambio es humano, además es a la Tierra, porque indica un cambio de polos. Es geofísico y humano. Geofísico y humano. So he says geophysical and a human. Y se habla de que va a haber un cambio de los polos magnéticos de la Tierra. He ain't talking about pole shifts. He's talking about lack of food. Sorry. 
son tantas las cosas que lamentable la humanidad no está. Says, there are so many things which is unfortunate and mankind is not ready for them because they're too busy on TikTok shaking their ass. Está preparado. El cambio viene. The change will come. La destrucción viene. And the destruction comes. Y... And above all, and I'm going to show you that the change back then when they were talking was climate change and they always knew it was coming, but now they know it's here. The woman started out, now is the time. Okay, no. It will affect humanity and its existence and its production. The food will no longer grow and its own sustenance. The earth will not produce food as it used to. And now that's why we need carbon emissions reduced, which is the people who understand that. You got to learn how to talk the language. Let's keep it moving. Above four degrees, we're looking at a vastly different planet. So when this planet come in and it heats up our planet, it says just at four degrees, we are going to be looking at a different planet, a whole entire different planet, climate change, global warming. Ice has vanished from both poles. Rainforests have turned to desert and rising seas reach deep into continents. Populations move to the newly thawed regions in Canada and Siberia, but even here, what is Siberia? They move into the coldest places on Earth. Summers may be too hot to grow crops anywhere but the coasts. There's nothing to buy and producers have nothing to sell. Who getting the big picture? So he's saying basically when it heat up, food will not grow. There's nothing to buy. Neither is there nothing to sell. Bill Gates is then buying up the farmlands because anything that will grow is going to them. Making sure that they do the carbon reduction. How will this will impact you? Warning, the wealthy are buying the water rights because while you putting stocks in Bitcoin and all these other damn virtual coins in it and silver and gold they buying up land and water they ain't investing in no damn bitcoin you are a fool buying silver and gold buy some big heavy containers and this came directly from the the lord through his spirit to brother deshaun go to the home depot or lowe's or whatever place you got out there and buy those 45 gallon drums if they sell the big, huge containers, get as many of those as you possibly can and fill them with water. Water is the new gold. Get yourself some chickens, get yourself some food, and some lamb, some goats, whatever you can get, and put them on your land and, and learn how to live off of your own land. And the reason why we dug a bomb shelter, because we know it's going to be hot and it is cooler underground the lower you go under there the cooler it becomes let's keep it moving folks so Bill Gates is pledging one billion dollars to help reduce carbon emissions for behold the day is coming that shall burn like an oven this is why they are hiding in the caves this is why they are telling you that it is a red alert there it is in the sky that is why they know that this is here and they are telling you it's either us or you and we choose us fuck you this is rap the news <laughs> 